Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to another Star Wars Black Series action figure review. We've got first figure for me, the third wave of the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. <sighs> That's a lot of words. We've got Darth Vader, I'm pretty pumped about this one. Um, second Darth Vader I've picked up in two weeks. Just did the uh, Jedi um, Jules End Vader from Obi-Wan Kenobi last week. The video kind of went nuts, which is which is exciting. Um, but yeah, I've been really looking forward to this Vader too. Um, got R2-D2 as well today, so he'll be up next. Emperor's Royal Guard, I'm probably going to pass on. I do have uh, the Rebel Commando, which I've reviewed. Um, and I'm expecting Luke as well in the near future. So I'm pretty excited about this Vader. We're going to cut him open. Because we've seen the card backs before. There's nothing too exciting here. Um, yeah, not one to keep these carded anymore, but this one's looking pretty damn good. We do have his lightsaber, which is just a, you know, it's, a, it's, it's the same lightsaber we've seen a few times now, which is fine. Nothing wrong with it. It's, you know, it feels a little bit big at times, but, um, you know, it works for, for Vader's size and scale. Um, it does come with a swap out articulated gloved hand there is a peg there there is that hinge joint a swivel in there as well so we have the top of vader's helmet which looks nice do have the other piece of helmet there the nice little plastic bubble in there to stop that from warping too much We'll get a good look at this. So yeah, this version of Vader was originally released back in 2014, um, very early on in the Black Series days. So yeah, it has been uh, begging for a re-release um, and very glad that they've done it. So as far as I know, they're just using the same sculpt as all the other Vaders that have come out recently using the uh, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, sculpt with the uh, it does have the butterfly joints in there a lot of people did ask about that with the uh, with the jewels end but I did sort of use that video to focus on the head sculpt um, so yeah pretty much very similar few minor differences in deco with the uh, Obviously, this is sort of slightly different sculpt with the chest box, but in terms of the colours, the articulation, um, sculpt, it's all the same. So the gloves might actually be slightly different. We'll just compare. Yeah, so he's sort of got the Empire Strikes Back Return of the Jedi sort of gloves as opposed to these being a bit more of the New Hope style, which is cool, but we'll put him aside because this is the figure we're talking about. Now, yeah, the... The head sculpt on this one looks much nicer than, his, than its predecessor, uh, which I can't actually get to at the moment. It's it's still packed away. All my most of my black series are still packed away. It's in the process of of getting it, getting into it, and getting all that sorted. So we're getting there. It's it's a work in progress, like I said. So obviously, the difference here is this sort of gloved hand, which is sort of showing the exposed electric circuits from when Luke cut it off at the end of Return of the Jedi, at the end of their duel. So that's a nice, easy, easy pop off. We'll see how quickly that one, so that's nice and easy. No too tough set, no too tough fitting there. That's, that's nice and easy to put on and off. Obviously you do it too much, it will fall off, you know, as they say. You play with it too much, <laughs> it will fall off. All right, I do apologize. There was a brief gap there just while the uh, battery decided to die on my camera. Of course, I thought I had it charging, but it wasn't switched on. But uh, yeah, as I was talking about the head sculpt here, this is, uh, again, you know, a very nice upgrade. Um, this is what we have here is a new, new head sculpt with a double peg. So you get a little bit of that movement we get a lot of movement sort of up, down, but then you get the head all around. 
you can sort of see in there if you were to pop that off I'm not going to right now but I assume you probably just pop off that head easily easily enough but just to uh, just for the purpose of the review just to get a good look at the head sculpt now they've definitely gone a little bit more um, Sebastian Shaw for this one as opposed to what we see in here it's a little bit more Hayden-ish <laughs> um, so you go, I do spend a bit of time on my review of that one taking a look at the head sculpt so you can kind of see but this one's a far cry I do do wish I could have had the comparison to the original but just trust me when I say this far supersedes it the sculpting with the scarring on the on the head there is nice it looks good just the details there in his uh, harmonica <laughs> I always think of that uh, Billy Joel meme <laughs> Billy Joel playing the harmonica looks like Darth Vader with his helmet off so we are going to see how this helmet slots on and it's definitely a far better sculpt than the original which is what we want but uh, yeah as is always the case they're always just you know to make room for function and and all that they never quite you know just match up that said the vintage collection did a very good job of it with its most recent release you know, it's not an easy it's not a nice easy snug fit at least at least for this one it's not wanting to really sort of just slot in nicely on top not sure I will play around with it a little bit afterwards just to sort of see but I don't know in terms of sculpt and and paint it looks okay I mean obviously we've recently had a good Empire Strikes Back Vader there's a little bit of fluff on there <laughs> but yeah I am sort of struggling to uh I mean that fits in, fits on nicely, so that's sort of sitting in there quite nicely. Um, there doesn't seem to be any sort of real mechanism in terms of the sculpt being able to sort of slide in and lock in anywhere. Well, there does seem to be some grooves in and around the the headpiece there, so maybe I just need to try a little harder. A little bit more patience. It is awkward from reaching from behind the camera, though. I will add. So maybe, maybe afterwards when I'm on off camera, that I may have some better luck with it. Okay, I kind of got it. No, it still wants to sort of pop out a little bit. I need to play around with the head underneath to get that to sort of fit a little bit nicer. I feel like I've got that there actually. No. No, slightest little knock and it wants to pop out but not a big deal again this this Vader will be displayed help Sun's helmet actually I've got it there okay so with a little bit <laughs> again a slight little wobble and it's popped out but you know you can safely say there's enough Vaders out there where you can just have a nice helmeted Vader But for the most part, this one looks good. I like that they've gone with the sort of browny, sort of magenta, sort of or purpley maroon, brown. You've got all the uh, silver markings in the right places for the for the cheeks, just for the lighting. <clears throat> Looking at it back this way. Uh, maybe it looks a little oversized. Maybe that's just my my head playing tricks. But yeah, it was definitely being displayed like this. I think just for the sake of the purpose of the figure, you know, that's you know, put a lot of work into the head sculpt for that to put it on, put a helmet on. But I do like this one a lot. I think he looks good. 
again we'll go through the articulation it does have the ball joint in the the head and the neck you can kind of see he does so there's a barbell in between the head and the neck piece well, it's kind of hard to see but it's there and then there's another one in the bottom of the neck into the top of the top of the torso there so that's cool so you get a lot of movement out of him and that may aid in the uh the putting on of the helmet uh so yeah shoulders hinge in the shoulders got the butterfly joints now obviously they only allow sort of minimal amount of articulation but they're there some ball hinges in the elbows so you get a nice really nice angle on this vader again it's the same as the empire strikes back one Slight retool, slightly retooled in the gloves as i mentioned earlier in the video he's got a upper ab crunch he's got the old legs the original vader legs which again if they're not broke don't fix them Got the uh, ball joint in the top, swivel at the thighs, double joints at the knees, and ball hinge in the ankles. If anything, if they're going to ever get to re-sculpting Vader's legs, I'd probably just do them just a tiny little bit longer, just so he can be just, just a tiny little bit taller. I feel like that would definitely aid, aid Darth Vader, I think. So I do like he's got the... Uh, force choke or a gun you know you could give him a blaster <laughs> if you really wanted to but yeah again putting that hand on so it's not bad i like this vader a lot i think it's a good one i'm definitely uh I'm a sucker for Vader, honestly. A sucker for Anakin. So it's about time we got a good Revenge of the Sith Anakin Skywalker adult pre Darth Vader Anakin. I think that would be. It's about high time we get that upgrade. We've just about covered all the Vaders, I think. Again, really happy with the paintwork on that head sculpt. Looks no, looks really nice. So yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please sound out down below. Let me know what you think. Always enjoy hearing your feedback and comments. And got uh, R2D2 coming up next, so stay tuned. That one will drop, should should drop tomorrow, at the time of this one going live. So stick around for then, and we'll see you on the next one. May the force be with you always.